Hi guys, today we've got a special treat, uh, long awaited. This is a machine that's uh, different, different than everything else. Um, this is a, a multi-rotor, two rotors, coaxial. This is a, um, an interesting product that uh, was on Kickstarter. I invested in it uh, quite some time ago and it's finally come out to investors. I don't think that they're caught up yet. I think they're almost caught up to where people can go on and, and buy these things. But this is called the Sprite. And okay, we can call it a drone, I guess. Um, it is a coaxial machine. And it's a good size machine. And here it is. I'll show you right now. Here it is. This is the Sprite and it is a uh, coaxial design as you can see here and the uh, total rotor span is um, I think it's somewhere around I think it's somewhere around 17 to, to 18 inches roughly from from tip to tip um, so it's a pretty good size machine has a little payload area on the bottom and the package that I ordered was the complete package that includes telemetry. So you get these telemetry modules. There's already one built into the top. And it came with a three-axis gimbal for GoPro or anything that's very similar to a GoPro. Um, they also offer a two-axis gimbal. So a little bit less expensive option. You don't have to have... A gimbal on this as a matter of fact I just flew it a little while ago I just threw together an FPV package on 5.8 with a little camera transmitter and separate battery and I just taped the whole thing to this um, gimbal guard right here um, just to experiment with maybe what I might want to do but they do have room and a built-in wire harness that in the top there's there's little indication for a hole right here where you can put your 5.8 gigahertz FPV transmitter in the top and they've got a wire harness that you can plug in and there's a wire harness down below that plugs into your gimbal so now you can fly FPV through your GoPro or similar device and it's powered by the internal battery uh, the transmitter is kind of a basic uh, transmitter it's um, actually, uh, it's an i8 from uh, uh, Quantum, and it, it does the job well. Um, so it has a built-in uh, Quantum receiver inside the housing here. Now, I've added this black stripe, and I've added this very bright orange stripe because I fly this in the FPV mode and what I mean by that is it, it has a front and it has a back now this this is set up it has it has a really nice compass and GPS in the top right in the very top right here and it's set up where when you're in the normal mode um, once you get GPS and proper compass calibration when you lift off when you push the stick away from you it, it'll go away and if you fly left or right no matter where you are out in space when you're in normal mode you can pull the stick back and it will come back to you it's a lot like the um, the mode that DJI offers in their Phantom um, so no matter where it is out in space it'll come back um, maybe not exact because you know it's trying to come back to its takeoff point and you know it might be plus or minus 30 feet but still it's going to it's going to come back to you but i like to fly in fpv mode and so that's why i put the black and the orange stripe on um and that that helps a little bit you still can't you can't see those stripes when you get out a little ways or if you fly near the sun you can't you can't see those very well so you kind of have to I was actually flying via the camera which is 
what you're supposed to do when you fly FPV and you're supposed to have a spotter. But I flew with the camera and obviously, you know, that makes it very easy because then it's as if you're in the aircraft. Um, also, this machine, um, for the flight controller, this uses a, uh, a PixHawk compatible autopilot and it's running ArduPilot Copter software. So you can upgrade the firmware. You can go in and, and you know, you can make changes. You can also go in and um, with Mission Planner, you can actually pre-program in a flight path so that uh, if somebody wants to use this for agricultural uses, you can, you can do that. Fly over your crops, take a look at them. Uh, you can do it manually or you can do it uh, with programming uh, Mission Planner to do that. So, um, I don't think I have any flight video yet. Sorry about that. I've just been kind of too excited fiddling with this. I've had it in the air maybe four times now. Um, I'm still trying to determine, you know, what I, what I think of it. Um, it's different. You know, it's, it's a lot different than flying a, a quadcopter or, you know, you, you know, multi-rotors, um, it's it's different in the air kind of acts a little bit like a pendulum sometimes in high winds um, but um, I'm still experimenting with it and you may see these starting to come out on the market soon um, you know, like I said they're they're just fulfilling all of the Kickstarter um, you know funding um, orders first and I, I think I was near the last batch. So once they get that done, this will be available. And um, it does have an interesting feature. This, this black section on the bottom, um, that's removable. You twist that, you twist that about, oh, an eighth, maybe a little more than an eighth of a turn. And the bottom comes off. And, and that's how you get the battery in there. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can prop my phone up and... So you twist this just a little bit. There's an O-ring on the bottom. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna grab the phone so I can show you guys this. Okay. So here we have, this is where the battery goes. You can see where the battery plugs in. You've got other ports here to plug in cables for uh, other payloads or like that's the cable that you plug in for the three axis gimbal that plugs in right next to the yellow battery connector. It uses a four cell, 4,000 milliamp battery. And without any payload, this will fly. They're saying that it'll fly for over 20 minutes. And, and I believe that because it seems like um, every time I've flown it, I've not used uh, any more than about 1,600 milliamps. And, and it seems like I've flown for quite a long time. That's that's with no payload, except today when I did fly with, when I flew with the very heavy FPV package, it did use up about, um, it almost used up the whole battery. I think it went, I think I used up 3,800 milliamps um, of the battery. So I I really used it up on that. But that, that little package that I made to, to put on the bottom here, it was, it was quite heavy with its own battery. I wouldn't do that if I were doing something more permanent. Uh, again, guys, this is the Sprite drone, and you may see this very, very soon. You'll probably see some other guys getting some videos up, talking about it. Um, I, I promise I'll try to get you some flight videos. I just, I haven't had anybody to help me. Um, so we'll probably try to do that very, very soon so that you can see how this thing flies. Does not sound like a multi-rotor. It sounds completely different. I, it sounds like a, a radio-controlled helicopter. Um, you know, so it is a completely different sound. Very unique looking in the air. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll have to see how this uh, progresses. It's a brand new company that, that's building this. And um, I've been emailing them quite a bit with uh, some questions and, and some concerns that I have. They're very, very helpful so far. And uh, I wish them all the luck in the world because this is a very unique, interesting product. It's, it's weather resistant. It's not totally waterproof. It, it can fall in the water. It's got O-rings and you can, you know, grab it back out. 
Um, it's fairly dust resistant. It's supposed to be very durable because the blades fold up and it can fall down, you know, without getting damaged. So uh, I'm not trying to sell it. It sounds like I am. It's just I'm experimenting with this thing and it's been fun so far. So uh, there you have it. There's there's a new a new drone that'll be coming out soon and uh, you may see one in the sky soon. So uh, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of information. I'll try to get you more. Subscribe. I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying to get the information out to you. Uh, enjoy flying your, your drones. Be safe. Use common sense. And have a great day.